Thank you, God, that you delighted me. Thank you that I'm loved and chosen. Thank you that you made me with a special purpose. I'm a bright, shining light meant to share with the world. Thank you that you never leave me and you're always with me. Thank you for dying on the cross so that I can live a full life. Amen. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? We have two weeks until we're back in Sunday services. How exciting is that? We can't wait to see you. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different again, and but it's going to be lots of fun. I want to talk to you guys about devotions a lot do you know what devotions are it's when you when you spend some time reading your bible and studying what god is telling you through his word and so um devotions is a great way to learn more about god and you can do it with your family and that is a great way to grow in your faith um we have a devotion that we do and it's called jesus calling and me and my girls will read something in the morning and then they'll pick up their Bible and they'll read something from the Bible. This is a great way to get to know God. Um, so today I'm going to read a devotion and we're going to do it together. And then maybe, you know, if you really, this is something you want to do, you can ask your parents, hey, mom and dad, I'd love to, to do some devotions together. Could we find a devotional book that we could do together or read the Bible together? Um, so. I'm going to read June 20th, so if you look, it is called, You Can Find Me. Psalm 8, 3 to 4, it says, When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? And this is what Jesus is saying to you. So as I'm reading it, think of Jesus talking to you and telling you something. So he says, I am constantly speaking to you, but I don't always use words. Day after day, I paint amazing sunsets across the sky to show you my power and glory. I stroke your cheek with a gentle breeze to remind you that I am right beside you. I speak in the faces and voices of your loved ones. You can find me in every minute of the day. If you have eyes that, you're, that are looking and ears that are listening, ask my spirit to help you see and hear me better. Practice looking and listening for me in the world around you, and gradually you will see and hear me more. Search for me with all your heart and you will find me. Amazing. We can seek God and we'll find Him at any minute of the day. So you could be doing, you could be in school, you could be at church, you could be at a friend's house. Any time of the day, you can seek the Lord and you'll find Him. So seek Him with all your heart. So I'm going to, so it's telling me to go to Psalm 8, verse 1 to 2. And so I'm going to get my Bible. Well, this is uh, Cadence's Bible. And I'm going to go Psalm 8, verse 1 to 2. It says, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in the whole earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. You have made sure that children and infants praise you. Their praise is a wall that stops the talk of your enemies. How amazing, how amazing is that? It's so cool. So... I'm going to pray for you guys, and we look forward to seeing you in two weeks. So Father God, we thank you for all the kids that are watching right now. We thank you that you love them, and you care for them, and you're for them. May your face shine upon them, and bless their week, and bless everything that they're doing, and pray that you, they would hear your voice, they would see you, and know you in a deep way. Amen. Over the next few weeks, we are preparing for meeting together again in the church building. So Kids Church Online will look a little bit different in the next few weeks, but we want you to know we are thinking of you and praying for you. Here's a bit of what we've been up to. Hey guys, over the next few weeks, we are doing cleaning, 
organizing and prepping because when you come back to church, we want it to be a fun, safe, and clean environment for when you get back. Also, if you are an adult or a teen and you're passionate about kids and thinking about joining the team, let me know. I want to hear from you.